Yeah, so two exciting things I want to mention, and that's related to the reports that I worked on. One is from the data that we analyzed so far, there was one storm we focused on for July last year. There was a big storm that moved from uh, west to east along Lake Erie. That's quite interesting. And from the data itself, we can be able to detect there's a increase of the wave height by four feet and just in 30 minutes. So that just shows the amount of rapid change that Lake Erie environmental conditions can be, and it can be very helpful for marine recreational folks to, to use this data. That information simply is not available before, and the data has not recording at, across this extensive amount of coverage. And then the other aspect to it is the kind of spatial pattern to it as well. And with this bigger spatial network of coverage of data, we can now understand if we want to build a model, we can start to correlate the data points and see if someone wanted to go boating in Cleveland and they see something like a storm is happening in Toledo, they can see what they should do about that. So that's the next step anyways, but right now it's just looking at how does the, the data itself over the long time period, how the data change, there's a trend or also at the spatial scale, how does things move around?